communication and to see the leaders uh, daily or weekly. So we're going to try to do this weekly for you um, and uh, give you the latest information that we have. But B, uh, I just want to say, though, how proud I am to be the mayor of this city right now. Um, during this crisis, really, the vast majority of the citizens, the residents, have been very diligent and understanding and following the rules. Uh, I know we see pockets of, of people sometimes that maybe aren't uh, following the rules that strictly, but for the, ma the majority here in Medicine Hat are following the rules set out by Alberta Health, and, and I can't thank you enough for that. Um, and, and, it's, and in a way, you're seeing the results of that. I would say that Medicine Hat has some of the, on a per capita basis, some of the lowest active cases in the province of Alberta. And all we have to do is look to our neighbours just 100 kilometres away from here in Brooks to see what's, what's happening with community transmission. And my heart actually goes out to the community of Brooks right now. And, and I was reading in, in the paper today about the Mayor of Brooks and uh, he must have used the word worried 10 times uh, in his press conference or, or when he was speaking to the media. And so we only have to look at if perhaps people don't quite follow the rules, what can happen. So once again, I thank the citizens of Medicine Hat for what you're doing. And I'm also very, very aware of the vast differences of opinions uh, between those that believe on one end that this is a complete hoax and uh, a conspiracy to those that think that this is perhaps the end of days and, and nobody's going to survive. But the majority of you recognize it's somewhere in the middle and are reasonable and respectful. And even and you've been respectful as uh, the residents of Medicine Hat of your differences of opinions uh, from your fellow residents. So I thank you for that. And I'm going to remind you again, and please, this is a time to support our neighbors and our family and our friends the best we can. And it is also a time to set aside grievances with your neighbors. Please, and I'm maybe going to coin a phrase here, if you have an ax to grind, this is not the time. Um, we don't need to have this constant emails, messages to myself, uh, basically telling what your neighbor's done wrong. Um, please try to maybe put some of those differences aside and be respectful of your neighbors because maybe there's a situation going on there that you're not quite aware of. And I can't say enough about Merrick. He's been working seven days a week here for the most part and um, uh, working hard and he's going to give you some more information. But I also want to, and he's probably going to say some of the same things, this is really a federal and more so an Alberta and AHS-led response uh, to this. The city is only in a backup role or a supporting role, and so I'm going to ask you to please, please, please direct your inquiries to the appropriate level of government. And uh, Maybe that sounds like I'm talking down, but the City of Medicine Hat is not Alberta health care. So if you have an issue that you want, please go to the appropriate level of government. You'll get an answer much more quickly from the other levels than you will from us. And I uh, mentioned last night after last night's city council, uh, we had a, a marathon session um, in, in camera that we will have a made in Medicine Hat economic plan or an economic stimulus or economic relief, whatever you want to call it. And I think it may well be one of the most generous on a per capita basis in the, on a municipal basis in the country of Canada. So uh, look forward to that. Um, we've been working really hard on that, but we also want to make sure we get it right. We don't want to move too quickly and overreact and we want to have a measured response, but we also want to make sure that we get something out to you. So, as always, we remain calm, courteous, and uh, compassionate and caring. Thank you. I, I truly do understand how difficult of a time it is for everybody. I mean, we're going on to close to, well, over 30 days for this right now, and, and nobody is immune to this situation. And we've all been impacted in some way or another. I think all of us have been impacted. I've been impacted. You've been impacted. The entire community has been impacted by this in some way. But I want to I want to reassure you that we will get through this. And as Mayor Cluxton had said, is we need to work through this together. We will get through this together. I don't want to just say we'll get through this, but we'll get through this together. I'd also like to thank the community for for really uh, following Alberta Health and Alberta Health Services guidelines on this one and and complying with the various orders. You know, I'll give you an example here. So I, I personally try to get out every night and go for a nice long walk. Uh, my gym's closed and so I try to get out there and go for a walk and I, I want to personally commend every individual on our trail system that walks on the, the, the sidewalks to actually, you know, steer clear and, and maintain those two meters of physical distancing because it is happening. And I want to commend those individuals that are doing that because that, that is how we're actually preventing the spread of, of COVID-19. That is one of the, the, the principal guidelines from Alberta Health Services is that two meters of physical distancing. 
Um, I've been receiving a whole bunch of um, concerns, questions, um, regarding some of these orders that are actually issued through Alberta Health and Alberta Health Services, I understand that it's confusing. We get it. And, but I also, also want to go back to the fact that we have various provinces within, our, within, um, the, uh, within Canada here that actually laid out different restrictions. This in itself is actually creating confusion. Um, regarding, you know, fines that can be levied if you're using a park or, or various things like that. And so I want to reiterate the fact that these orders can be accessed by looking at the Alberta Health Services website or Alberta Health website, um, because this is where you're going to find the information. So I encourage everybody to educate themselves on these orders. I also do want to state that um, so the city and Alberta Health and the province for that matter, they can't regulate every single activity. They can't provide an answer for every type of activity. I understand that it, people have questions. I, I get it. You know, whether it be from garage sales or, or um, using parks or, um, you know, even the, the two meter physical distancing requirements, you know, some of these can be a little bit ambiguous, especially when it's written into an order. Um, so please rely on the, those general guidelines from Alberta Health Services and, and you'll be good. So I want to go back to those guidelines. It's, it's maintaining that two meters of physical distancing. It's staying home when you're sick. It's coughing into your, into your arm like that. It's, it's washing your hands. It's, we can't rely on, on Alberta Health and Alberta Health Services to lay down every single activity that you may be allowed to do or may need, not be allowed to do because in itself, that, that in itself creates confusion. And so go back to those um, general principles. And I, I ask, and, I, and I, I know I see this is, we are responsible citizens. And if we're responsible citizens, we'll go back to those, those general guidelines and, and we can still go outside and we still can enjoy the sun as to what we're doing right now um, and practice those guidelines. I wanted to also take this opportunity to give you a little bit more information as to what the city's doing. And I think we've seen it a lot over the media over the last week, and I think we actually we see this every year about this time, is what are we doing about that, that river over there? And what are we doing about the creeks? And these are excellent questions. And in fact, we, we're already on top of this. These are unprecedented times. Um, it, it, all of my colleagues in emergency management are, are facing these challenges that we never thought we'd have to face before. And so we've had to actually go back, just as every other municipality is doing right now, and, and revising and revisiting all of these these hazard specific plans as we call them, whether these be our, our flood mitigation plans and our community evacuation plans and actually putting a bit of a, a COVID-19 touch on them. And we have to do that. And so we're looking at these items right now as well. So you, you factor in the fact that we have a pandemic and then layer on an evacuation on top of that. But that's okay and, and we've got this, just like we had COVID-19, we've got this one as well. So these are some of the items that we're working on. But I can assure you once again, just as I said with, um, with COVID-19 is, is we do have this. So I just wanna finish it off here by, by saying thank you once again to our community. So the business community, members of the public, I know though that it's been difficult and it, it will continue to be difficult for all of us, but we will get through this. Thank you.